Why can oil rigs stand in the sea? The key actually lies in these fixed piles that go deep into the seabed. It firmly fixes the platform to the seabed through a framework of steel pipes. However, this type of fixing is only suitable for areas with shallow water depths. If you want to build in the deep sea, you have to use a semi-submersible drilling rig. It has its own pontoons to keep the platform afloat and can be moved by tugboats. This type of platform relies primarily on a mooring system to keep the platform positioned at the surface. At the start of operations, the float tank is filled with water and submerged into the sea, with only some of the columns exposed to the surface, which greatly enhances stability. See the comparison and you will know how big the gap is. Before extracting oil, a drill bit is shoved into a casing, and when it reaches the bottom of the ocean, drilling begins. High-pressure water pushes the drilled mud and rock out of the casing, and when it comes to a certain depth, the casing stays in place, and the drill bit continues down. Then a thinner casing is plugged and drilling fluid and cement are pumped into it, which are separated by a layer of spacer, and as it pushes downward, the cement covers the outer layer, which serves to hold it in place and support it. As the depth increases, the casing becomes thinner and thinner until it contacts the oil formation. In order to prevent the high-pressure oil from spewing out and causing a catastrophic blowout, it is also necessary to install a blowout preventer at the wellhead. Eventually, a steady flow of oil will come to the platform through the pipeline. Also, the rig has an amazing maneuver where it is clear that oil is still being extracted below and the top keeps spewing fire. Why is this? In fact, in the process of extracting oil, natural gas will also be extracted in order to ensure safety, a fire is the best solution.